everyone, I am Rabbit, I can't believe it's not butter, and this is episode number 25 for our 100% item guide to Legend of Ligaya. In our previous episode, we managed to take out the mist problem by knocking out the mist generator that was causing the pollution problem for Drake Kingdom. So we saved this entire area, which is wonderful. However, we did learn from Zopu that there are still areas in this world that are in need of our aid and assistance. So we are now ready to venture northward in hopes of taking out other mist generators and purifying slash revitalizing Genesis trees therein. So let's go ahead and continue where we left off by loading our safe. And we will be in Byron Monastery because we also were chatting with Maya, who told us that now without any mist in the area, she felt safe enough to walk back to Rim Elm. So that's really exciting. We ended on a, I would say, relatively positive note. So let's keep that positive energy going as we head to the ancient wind cave. So I had mentioned this before to you guys that it wasn't entirely necessary for you to go to the ancient wind cave at the points where I had. I sort of made those extraneous trips in order to get early access to a couple of Seru for my party members, but if you chose not to do that, that's totally fine. The game is going to force us to head up here anyway. So let's go ahead and make a beeline for this area. And I'm actually glad we got into a fight because there is a little side thing that I do want to share with you. So, you guys are well aware, if you've been following this walkthrough so far, that I have tried to showcase all of the arts as soon as you have room to learn all of the directions that go into performing the art successfully. Well, there was one art ability for Noah that I opted to not showcase yet in this series just because I wanted to hold off I think it's a very powerful ability to utilize, and as you have seen from all of the fights that we've had so far with bosses, I don't think we've encountered, well, you know what, we can go ahead and just attack the other ones just to make this easier. I don't think we've yet encountered a true foe or true adversary who posed us that big of a challenge. I mean, Karubin was kind of tough, but it wasn't as bad as it has been for me anyway in previous playthroughs. So there wasn't really a reason, in my opinion, to justify learning this super early. So I know some people probably learned it as soon as they had the room to do it. It is a six directional art, and I will go ahead and just show it to you. So it is right, right, left, high, high, high. And I won't go ahead and put a seventh one down there just so that I can show you this is what goes into it. So let's do it on the ostrich, and you know what, whatever, Gala. And here we are. Tempest Break, and it is rather powerful if I do say so. I just, you know, I've had a couple people up PMing me about this for at least like the last 10 episodes that have gone live. And you guys have been wondering, you know, Rabbit, when are you going to show us Tempest Break? When are you going to get that last one? Like you blasted through learning all the other ones. Basically, you guys were just wondering why I was waiting. And honestly, there's not a huge reason. The move, I wouldn't necessarily call it super OP, but it is, I think, a little too powerful. At least, it's so powerful that it's not absolutely needed, so I just didn't really want to show it to you guys quite yet. So I don't know. I guess, long story short, I don't honestly have a reason not to have shown you until now, but I, in my playthroughs, usually just wait until I have free Drake Kingdom before I worry about getting it. So that's the only reason why I opted to wait until this point to show it to you guys. Thank you for everyone who was concerned I forgot about it. I hadn't forgotten about it. I just personally wanted to wait because that's what I like to do, even off camera when I'm just playing this for lols. Anyway, so we are now here in the Ancient Wind Cave. So we are going to want to check up here and hmm, the door is locked and won't open. Well, that's okay. Don't despair quite yet, my friends, because there is a left path. And if we open this door, there's an old guy waiting for us. He says, how do you do? I am the old wizard. Now that the mist has amazingly disappeared, I was just waiting for a customer. Welcome to my shop. I have everything and anything. Come on into the back. 
I'm sure he doesn't sound that creepy, but whatever. I gotta, I gotta work on some new voices, right? Okay, so you have the option of resting here at the inn if you want to. Welcome, I am the innkeeper. You can sleep here for 150 gold per night. Want to stay? Hell no. First of all, that is way overpriced. And second of all, you guys just don't waste your money here because we will have a chance to sleep for free fairly shortly. So anyway, he continues, oh, you should stay. I hoped you would stay. Oh well, goodbye. Okay, the real reason we want to chat with this douchebag. Welcome to my shop. I sell powerful weapons very cheap. Want one? Yes, we do. So we're now going to be in the position to upgrade more of Noah's stuff. But of course, as you guys already know, we are broke ass bitches. So we're not going to have enough money for everything. I do want to show you what is new for her. So we can get the fighter claw for 2900 We can, I think they're on the other page. Here we go. Tempest shoes. A green robe and a green clip. So I already got everything for Vaughn and Gala that we can yet access. So I'm going to take a little bit of time, do some off-camera grinding. Hopefully it won't take me that long, but I will bring you guys back. Oh, still want to buy or sell something? Do you want something else? No. I'm going to go ahead and do some grinding off camera. I think I have like a, a shield elixir and a fury boost that I can sell as well. So I'll keep that in mind, but I will just bring you guys back when I feel like I have sufficient funds to just pick up everything in one go. So give me just a second, my friends. Okay, my friends, welcome back. So just to recap some of the things that did happen off camera away from you all. Gala, as well as Vaughn, were both able to get a level. I did a little bit of fucking around with my Seru. So just to show you the notable changes, Zenwar for Vaughn got two levels. And I think that was all that happened with his. I don't think I spammed anything else. I was able to get another level for Noah's Vigoro. So it is now rocking level four. And Gala's Theater, I think, got one level. I believe it was previous. Obviously at level three, I can't remember 100%, but I'm 90% sure it got one level. So that is really it. So let's go ahead and talk with him once more. And we will also sell, yes, I do have a Fury Boost, so we'll get 1,000 gold. And we'll go ahead and sell the Shield Elixir as well. If I need more money, I'll sell the old equipment, but I don't know, I'm just, I don't really like selling some of the old equipment quite yet. I don't know why, it's just me being a little bit neurotic, I guess. I just like to hold on to all of that stuff, just for fun, I don't know. I'm a weirdo, okay? Don't ask me any questions. So let's go ahead and grab this for Noah. And I think everything else was on the next page. So we got a green clip, Noah will equip. We'll get the green robe, Noah will equip. And last will be Tempest Shoes. And as you can see, we only have 76 gold to our name now. So there was a lot of grinding that was involved, but that's just kind of how it goes, you know? This game is not playing when it comes to prizes. Still want to buy or sell something? Do you want something else? No, we're actually good. Oh well, goodbye. Yes, get lost. So anyway, let's run up here and inspect this barrel behind him and we will find a wisdom water which goes to, dun 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 dun, Vaughn is the winner. So let's rearrange. Congratulations Vaughn, enjoy your wisdom water. And we can loop around, oh my gosh, no. I don't even have enough money even if I wanted to. So let's run over here. And we can pull this lever. Do you wish to move the lever? Yes, we do. Vaughn, move the lever. And there we go. The door is now open. Perfect. So if we run all the way over here, we can check this barrel and get a silver compass. So let's take a quick second to look at what that is all about. So it decreases the rate of being ambushed by an enemy, which you guys absolutely know we are going to be using this eventually. Right now, I feel like we still need the fights. Not, okay, I guess we don't need as many fights as we're going to be facing quite yet, but I still feel we are constantly going to be a little bit poor, so I don't want to reduce the chance of us getting into fights because basically that reduces how much money we're going to be accruing, if that makes any sense. I hope you guys understand me. I know what I'm trying to say and that's what matters. <laughs> All right, so let's run over here to the right and we will get another door of light, which is fabulous. 
so let's keep going. Oh god, you guys, I love this track. I was just listening to the OST the other night, actually, to help me go to sleep. And this song does it every single time. So if we run all the way up here, we then get a healing bloom. And we will now go to the right. As you saw, there was another branching path over this way. And you don't have to worry about the barrels, there's nothing in those. But if we come up here, this old woman says, Well, my first customers in ten years, I'm so happy. I am called the Old Water Witch. I've been in business here for 40 years, but it's been 10 years since I've had any customers. I'm so happy now. Woman, do you not know that there has been a mist problem going on? That's why you haven't had any customers. Well, that and the old guy had locked the door. Anyway, she continues, well, come on in. I run a store and an inn. You must be tired. Come along and I'll get you a room for the night. Do you want to spend the night? So yes, let's go ahead and do this for free. Well, enjoy your stay. So again, this comes back full circle to what I was momentarily ago mentioning when I said, don't spend 150 gold to sleep. You can do it for free right here. But oh, we have a dream. Vaughn, Noah. Boo hoo, where are we? So it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm just going to say we may be dreaming. Perhaps, but if this is a dream, it feels different from an ordinary dream. What's the matter? A voice. I hear a voice. Who is it? My mother. It sounds like my mother. Noah, I am not your mother. My name is Hari. I inhabit a world between the dream world and the human world. I have a message for those in the human world and who are with the Rasaru. They are the true words of Rem. Go to Octum, the ancient yet eternal city far away in the heart of Sebekus. There, compassionate human beings will learn the true meaning of all dreams. Ooh, how eerie. Hari. Hari is going to tell us what our dreams mean. Talk about a vision, that is super cool. Vaughn, I had that dream again. Let's just say, because it doesn't matter what we choose, that sure is a weird dream. Oh, I want to see Hari. It doesn't matter what you say. So let's actually just take a minute and talk to her. Let's see what accessories she has. I sell accessories too. Just the kind you'll need for traveling. Want to buy some? Yes. Okay, so she's got some nice jewels. But you guys already know. We are so poor. <laughs> if you want to, you can try to do some training and see if you can amass enough funds to pick up one thing, but I'm not going to worry about this. It is just not worth it. But anyway, as you can see, here's the silver compass yet again. So if for whatever reason you're not following along with me and picking up the silver compass for free, you're welcome to buy it. And there's a golden compass. Increases allies rate of attacking first. Fabulous. And then just some more elemental jewels. We've got a target chain. A defender chain, which is actually pretty nice, but again, I don't have the money for it and I'm not grinding to get it or selling anything to try to get it. All right, so this is what she has. Eh, it's okay. Nothing great, but nothing really, nothing shitty for sure. All finished or do you want something else? Nope, we're good. Thank you. Come again, even if it's just to look around. Yes, sure, whatever. Okay, so if we inspect the barrel over here, we'll find a magic water. So the winner for this lot casting is Noah. So yay, go Noah, enjoy your magic water. And let's just take a quick moment to talk to these kids. It's like, why does this old water witch have a bunch of children just hanging out here? The old woman, she's a nice person, don't you think? Yeah, she's okay. We were orphans, but she was kind enough to raise us. The Sebekus Islands to the north are covered by the mist. Be sure you have everything you need. All right, thank you. When you get out of the cave, go northwest. Then you'll come to the town of Jeremy. 
I've heard it was a beautiful town famous for an amazing tree and the sky gardens, but now, who knows? Huh, how strange. He mentioned an amazing tree. Could it possibly be a Genesis tree? Hmm, who knows? Well, let's talk to this lady. Do you dream a lot? Yes, we do. Oh, good. I dream a lot, too. Dreams tell you about your future, you know. Do you want to learn how to tell the future from your dreams? Sure, why not? Humor us. I knew it. I knew you were interested in dreams. Somewhere on the Sebekus Islands is a person who lives in a dream world. His name is Hari. Oh, Noah was all too excited when she heard Hari's name. Hari? I know about Hari. Can Hari really tell you what a dream means? Yes, my grandma told me so. He's an octum. Hari is an octum, right? Octum, I'm sorry, I don't know much about the outside world. Oh, hmm. Oh, poor Noah. Vaughn, I've made up my mind. I'm going to look for Hari. Vaughn, will you help me find Hari? Of course I'll help you find him. I mean, you can say first we must destroy the mist, but again, it doesn't matter what you choose, so let's just go with the top option. Good, I'm so happy. Thank you, Vaughn. And we'll see if she has anything else to add. They say Hari is the reincarnation of Rem, the god of time. And yeah, that's all she has to say. So let's go ahead and part ways here, my friends. So when we do return in our next episode, we will continue on following the advice of this young boy here to a town called Jeremy. So thank you very much for watching. I cannot wait for us to continue the events in our next episode. Take care until then.